Uh, November 12th, 2007. I'm Dave. I'm Joe, and Seth's the pansy because he's not here. Seth's at a Nuggets game, but nevertheless, we're Biff. Or at least two thirds of Biff. And uh, we have two thirds of, of our friends, local band Electric Ordinary. <laughs> Guys? How's it going, man? I'm Eric. And Drew. Eric and Drew in the house tonight, joining us on a podcast. Um, there's a huge event, the event of the century, actually going down this Thursday night. We're all going to be playing at Cricket on the Hill. Yeah, all two of you show up. Yeah. <laughs> we should play the show as two-thirds of each of our band. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, how would that work out? We wouldn't have a drummer. Yeah. I could beatbox the we, Well we wouldn't have a guitarist. <laughs> I think it sounds think like it could work. We'll fill it, yeah, we'll fill in for each other. <laughs> so it's it's uh you know, good times coming up here because we both have CDs coming out. Ours is gonna be done for the show. Is is your guys' is gonna be? No? Um we'll probably have if we sell anything, it'll probably be like the cheap burn stuff. Yeah, just uh, some uh, any, like, preview or yeah, what, really what you might want to call it. Real yeah, album done yet. That's the reason why Neil's not here Yeah, we have to mention us. Neil. He, oh, yeah. yeah the, let's, the, Neil. Please. Yeah, Neil. Who's this Neil character? Neil is our drummer, and he's currently working towards getting the yeah. mastered copy of our album. Yeah, Jeff uh, Firestorm is mastering our album as we speak. So the Neil's hanging outside his house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it feels good, man. <laughs> it feels great, baby. So, um, tell us about this. Is uh, the, kind of the first time you guys, as a band, have gone into the studio. Is that right? Yes. Tell yeah. us. Tell us about uh, the recording experience. Um, it was pretty fun. I've never never done anything like that before, so it's pretty. Wow, when I got in there, because he's got a really nice studio, and uh, I don't know, it felt professional, like I should be paying, getting paid to yeah. do it, but... Yeah, it, it felt good, man. It We went in in, uh, in April, so it's been like, how many it's months? It's been a few months now, yeah. And oh, yeah, like, that's right. Huh? It's ta- it feels like it's taking forever, but I think it'll be worth it. For all you EO fans out there, it'll be well worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> We got Jeff working hard on it, making it sound like a, a real CD. So yeah, he did it pretty well, that's cheap. That's a plus. Too. Yeah, better than fake. CD. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a fake better CD. Fake CD. <laughs> this is our fake album. You know, no, we actually did release a fake album, like <laughs> not fake, but recorded in Neil's basement. So, you know, not even like mono speakers sounded good with that album. It was, uh, it was dude, awful. Dude, I accidentally listened to that the other day, <laughs> <laughs> and like. You, it's fucking amazing how bad that shit is compared to this new yeah, man. stuff, man. And we we actually brought a copy of it with us tonight. Yeah, we got a copy of the <laughs> shitty one. No, the good one. Oh, yeah, we we're gonna be hearing one. some songs later on for sure. Well, it sounds like you guys had a pretty good experience. Pretty positive things to say there about recording. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, Joe, you want to tell them how we feel about recording? <laughs> fucking sucks. Pain in the ass <laughs> for the majority of it. Well, but yeah, it it blows. I it, it's like thank God we got our own shit to do with. It's tedious. It's time consuming. Um, but hopefully it's all worthwhile in the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, it usually is. Yeah, it's usually uh you know a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Dude, um, which. <laughs> More tears than sweat and blood. Yeah. Maybe a little semen mixed Maybe in there. Maybe a little shit. Yeah, I was say, it's, it's a little you know, dirty in the studio I'm, sometimes. I think I missed all that when I helped you out on that Biff Return CD. Yeah. It's like, we, we threw that fucking song down in like an hour, yeah. dude. Yeah, well, that was a creative whirlwind of magic and, and wonder. I and think that, that whole album Anal went Lube. down in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> The exception well, the magic you know what, dude? We should, I'm glad you brought that up because I definitely wanted to mention that tonight. Because, as as most Biff fans out there know, <laughs> uh, Drew is is quite the Biff fan, <laughs> and he has been ever since uh, we were in high school together. 
Old school. That's nice, right. Man. That's right, bitches. Where's your tattoo at, dude? You gotta get it's on, on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> so the chicks like, are like, why is your biff have, why is your dick have biff on it? And they're like, like it's actually a ban. Biff is gonna fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> get ready to get biffed. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on, biff biffshes. <laughs> biffshes. Biffshes. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I can agree with you on the in the studio going back to that. Um, it took forever. I think the recording part of it is really fun, but yeah, just the mastering and getting yeah, everything to sound mixing. good. Well, yeah, mixing yeah. is just it takes a million years, and it's just I want it to be done like ten days ago, and it just hasn't happened. But tonight, hopefully, is the night. Man. hopefully is the night. It turned into a joke for me because like we went in in April. And it was like, all right, we're going to do the guitars first or whatever. And then, you know, it was starting to look like it was going to take a couple weeks to do them. Like, both guitars. We'll yeah. get into that later, probably. But the joke was like, yeah, Jeff, I'll see you in June. You know, haha. <laughs> and then, like, well, no, it started. We started with the drums. August yeah. started up. <laughs> well, no, and then June fucking showed up. And then it was my turn to get the ba- yeah, lay he, the bass he down. He called his own date to get in there, and he's like, joking around oh i'll see you in june guys and then uh-huh. mid-june came around and he's just like i should have been here like last week yeah man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you guys took forever yeah well i always like uh i i uh, i should mention that both both dudes here have tool shirts on <laughs> and i myself am quite a tool fan and and once i heard maynard say something that really has stuck with me about recording it's it's uh you, you know you you're capturing an emotional moment and trying to recreate it and get it down on Damn. you know a medium where Maynard said that yeah <laughs> because when you're writing a song that's the emotional moment or you know and so you're trying to to recreate that in a way it's you have to to find that you have to re-enter that space you're in to really make it authentic. Man, he must be in a really shitty space if he's recording that. <laughs> the fucking V is vagina, whatever oh, yeah. album that he's got oh, going now. The pus- yeah. pus- oh, the Pussifer. Pussifer. Yeah. Awful. Pussifer. 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 You guys want to tell us something about this first song we're going to listen to? Um, I think we're going to listen to Seasons. Seasons is... This is the opening track? It is the opening track. And it's funny, like, the beginning of it, we purposely made it sound like the shitty album that we were talking about, just to kind of, like, make fun of it a little bit and then kind of show that we've grown from there. With a bass player? With a bass player, yeah. (laughs) We played without a bass player for almost two and a half years. Yeah. And then we met... Drew through Apsis when we had you guys open the show for yep. us at that Which birthday is my, party. Which is my old band. And yeah. That was a, I was, that was and a, you were like the drunk you were fucking dude that yeah. yeah. messed up when I met you. Drew I seriously yeah. thought he was going to attack us in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> he just came stumbling up like, hey, you guys, you're the band, right? And I'm just waiting for him to pull out a knife. And instead, it was just a giant bottle of Jaeger. And then, <laughs> and then I, yeah, and then like I got Neil's number, and for whatever reason, it was the right number. Yeah. And I called him the next day, and he's like, "Yeah, man, you want to come on out?" And the that's rest, right. You were like, "Hey, I play bass," and immediately we're like, "You're in the band." Yeah. <laughs> you play bass, and we're looking for a bass player. So. Cool. Well, here is Seasons by Electric Ordinary, Woo. a track I'm sure you'll hear on Thursday night if you come down to the show. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Sweet. yeah, it'll be there. It's one of our uh, mandatory songs. It's demanded by all our fans. Yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> Here it is.
Nice, guys. Thanks, man. Good. Indeed. Sounds good. Thanks. Woo. Yeah. Big, um. Big ups to Jeff. Big ups. Yeah. And to you for writing the song. <laughs> Maybe we should, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Drew. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking sick, dude. I just threw the bass line down for you guys because it was already in existence when I came into the band. Yeah, these songs are pretty old. Um, you want to share anything about what the... I don't have any stories behind Or the what meaning it means. or anything? Um, no, I, I can tell you how it came together, but the little chord, little crawl rift, I, I don't know what to even call it, like the scale. The... <laughs> that... Um, I was just chilling in the basement and I was trying to learn how to play a Mega Man song <laughs> on the guitar. Nice. Because it was a Snake Man's level. Oh. Yeah, yes. so I learned Snake Man's level and <laughs> I kind of yeah, yeah, <laughs> got the inspo from that. So, um, yeah, I was just hanging out in the basement, you know, I had that in mind and fucking around with pedals and stuff. And I came up with the scale riff and I did it over and over and over hanging out and I was like hey Neil we should throw this cool part in a song you know and mm -hmm. just kind of wrote everything else around that well speaking of guitar I noticed you know well I don't want to bring up any any uh, uh, pain <laughs> Ouch. but uh, you guys did have a member leave the band uh, kind of halfway through this recording is that um, yeah we we finished everything and you know he just decided it was time to go so um no hard feelings for me, you know, or any of the other guys no. in the band. Yeah, so, you, no, don't, he, you don't want any of that. No. No, he was a cool guy. Like Adam Hudson is the guy's name. He's actually in another band right now, but I guess he just joined it, so he doesn't we don't have any details to give for that. But yeah. yeah, he was a really big help, you know, coming up with extra lines and stuff and he made it a big pain in the ass for me to do it live now because I have to do <laughs> both parts. Yeah. But so so he is playing on this album and yeah he is on there. every track yeah cool yeah yeah it, it sucks that he had to leave but you know sometimes it just works out like that mm -hmm. I, th I think um like you said he he's better that way i guess and well, i i feel i i feel since he left we've kind of gelled you know it was more of a I don't know, solid entity. And that's what a lot of, like, our 40 fan fan, fan base that comes to the shows, like, keep saying, like, we keep, you know, pushing better yeah. and giving a tighter performance each time. Like, even at a fucking pizza bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I agree. Like, it's, it's, I was only in one band where we had two guitarists. It was my first band. And it was for a short time, but <laughs> yes, it, it was. you know, it, it def it, there's definitely amazing benefits to having two guitars, but there is also the the piece you have to look at. A three piece is, you know, less things to keep together. I guess yeah, <laughs> you could. It look makes at writing it. a lot easier. Yeah. Um, yeah, he he was a good guy, you know, a good performer, yeah. and you know, I, he's he's a sick guitar player. But um, I don't know. I've known him forever. And I like we actually like taught each other how to play guitar and everything like that. So, you know, it was cool having him in my, in my band. And I've been in like several other bands with him before, but um, he just needed to move on. You know, he's more metal oriented, mm -hmm. so this was definitely like a change for him. But he told me that you know it helped him develop a more mm, dexterity, I guess, on the guitar. Like he uses more than just like a, a chord now. You know, yeah. So. Yeah, it opened his mind. Yeah, and he kind of got me a little more on the heavy side because a lot of my inspiration came from, like, live, where it was just a lot of strumming. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he actually showed me a lot of the metal bands and stuff, so I kind of got a little more heavy on the he, guitar plan. His technique was sick. Yeah, he, he had a good technique. And he his, he could nail those pinch the, harmonics. Yeah, like it was good. nothing. Yeah. And he... And I liked at practice, he'd, like, throw one into the song to, like, fucking piss Neil off or something. <laughs> he'd just make us laugh with all these pins. <laughs> shit just, just out of nowhere. We'd be sitting there playing the softest part, and then he'd be like, Arr! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's... I need to learn how to They're do so that. fun. Yeah. That's, that's why. Like, I remember when I first learned how to do that, I was constantly... <laughs> like, an abscess, and just like... <laughs> See, I can never get it, man. Like, I can only do it if I have my pinky nail or ring nail already on the string plucking and I can't do it while I'm playing and it just 
Well, like are, do you do it. that thing where you like pluck and then try to yeah, I try hit to it with your it finger? Yeah, with my finger after. Oh, well, that's the hard way, man. You yeah. got to, what you do is you pluck and then you hit hit it with the meat of your, uh, what would you call this? Just like the palm, the of, thumb, your palm of your hand. The thumb you, muscle. You, go, you just, you just <laughs> rest that on the string. Ah. Like, <laughs> See, I've heard like all kinds of techniques where you, yeah. you can do it with like the karate chop side of your hand. Uh, with your nail, with yeah. how you sit right here. Um, Adam actually, he did day. it with the ball of his thumb. Yeah, you can do that just too. Just any any of this area. I just but yeah, doing that, that with your finger, you have to have the right touch, and it's a lot harder. Yeah. 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 Anyways. For any of you aspiring guitarists out <laughs> yeah. there, maybe you might have just learned something. Holy shit. Use the meat of your thumb Boom. muscle <laughs> on the balls of your thumb. But make sure you say it like meat. The meat. The meat. The meat. The meat. <laughs> All right, dudes, let's play another song. All right. What's this one? This one's, this one's Wake. This, yeah, this is and the song we should have sent to the KVPI thing, I think. After and thinking I, about it, you but know, dude, it wouldn't have gotten it, it picked anyway. Been, yeah, fuck KVP. Yeah. Yeah. Did but you hear that? Yeah, they they fuck picked you, KVP. they picked like three sissy ass fucking bands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> faggots in my opinion. Yeah, wow, like far too Nancy's happy like, for me. Little brother and just yeah, no. I'm surprised this band called Horse didn't make oh, it on that shit. Awful man. I saw them open up once. But, at some place, and they're doing Walk by Pantera. And you think a guy who works at a Primarily like metal station or whatever would know the lyrics to walk. He was forgetting them left and right. And he just, oh, you guys should sing the song for me because I don't know. I I don't even listen to this shit. You know, it's just uh, one hmm. one thing though. Back to wake. Yeah. Uh, listen to a lot of the vocal harmonies on it. Yeah. Because is... they're they're Eric did a lot of cool experimentation with that and with himself. He found himself. <laughs> no, no, like I, I really like what he did with his vocals. It sounds Thanks, sick, Thanks. in a good way. <laughs> kind of like how bad is good sometimes. Like yeah, that's yeah, bad, dude. bad. That's fucking yeah. sick ass okay. shit. And, and cool. okay. you bad not. motherfucker. Right. Yeah. But right. Also, you got to listen to the, the smooth. <laughs> Thick bass line that Drew's throwing down on the. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a frothy bass line. Yeah, frothy. Discussing that. Yeah. Frothy. <laughs> it's got a nice used. head to it. Do you, yeah. do you guys know what felch means? Felch, I've heard that word. I think I remember you guys talking Felching. about Felching. Shit. It's you just gross. remind me that. Yeah, it's a it's a felt uh, uh, froth uh, <laughs> frothy mixture of uh, like semen and shit <laughs> that you suck. Through a straw from <laughs> a person's asshole. Ass. Yeah. That's it, funny because that's what this song's about. Sweet, let's check it out. This <laughs> is, <laughs> this is <laughs> wake. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Nice, dudes. Thanks, man. Awesome. I'm some so, of my favorite, favorite yeah, endings. Damn it, <laughs> That's my fucking man water down. Glass. <laughs> and the cords. Oh and no! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's dead. Biff needs a new bass player. <laughs> Auditions. Chicharri's looking at uh, Dave. <laughs> Is this yours? Come on yeah. now, I know oh, it's good, dude. It's Throw that water. on there, man. That's uh, tough. It's all right. It's just water. Wait all right. Still, man. Oh, fuck. You know, anyway. So, yeah, dude. Nice harmonies. Thanks, man. I, and uh, cool time change there in the beginning. Thanks. And that one part, dude, the guitar sound, I don't know, dude, I heard demons coming up from hell. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that, was little, that was, that was, uh, that was Adam, Adam actually. Dude. Adam actually That, that weird, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he he was awesome. Could you hear the the bass? The frothy sliding? bass line. Yeah. <laughs> the frothy the slide. The frothy slide, dude. <laughs> That's what call that. The felch filled slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, I'm so ready for our show on yeah. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> no, um <laughs> fucking felch. Like, uh, that God song damn actually um it didn't mean anything until like a few weeks ago. Um I know how I got, that goes. Yeah, dude. I got totally fucked over by this chick. Stupid and, whore. Yeah, she is a whore. Anyway, I got. <laughs> we have totally a name, <laughs> but the face. No, is okay. it's <laughs> she doesn't get her name drop. She's stupid whore. That's she's her a name. Skank. Ass Does she have a bitch. MySpace? Yeah. Yeah, but we're not gonna get that. But it's, <laughs> one the, it's one of those. Uh, it's got porn plenty, sites. Of, plenty of pretty pictures with my camera that she jacked for me. That stupid bitch. But anyway, the uh, yeah, the song didn't mean anything. Like, because I never, I mean, when I write lyrics, it's just randomness, whatever yeah. fits the part. And um, after all that shit went down, like, I sat there and looked at some of the lyrics on some of these songs, and I'm just like, wow, you know, it's, like, prophetic. Because, like, this song is, like, two years old, and it didn't mean shit for that whole time until, uh -huh. like, a few weeks ago. And it was like, wow, thanks, bitch, Dude, for the, my the song. same <laughs> exact my thing. song a sound, you know? <laughs> same exact thing happens to me all the time in Biff. Or just in a lot of bands I've been in, it's like you're you're kind of ahead of yourself almost, yeah. and something's coming through. You don't even know what it is until you catch up, and you're like, "Wow, this that's what this means." Yeah, I got I gotta ask then. Does that mean that Joe's been fucking four chicks, <laughs> <laughs> hitting that grand slam shit up, <laughs> or what? No, like the no. one that you said earlier. He raped all the dudes and <laughs> killed the women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Women and the and injustice. You guys There's are... tons of women down here, by the way, too. We're not just a bunch of homos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all tranquilized, so we can take uh, them yeah. later. That's why they're so, not talking. So, uh, we can, so we can felt <laughs> all we want. All right, this podcast just got really <laughs> weird. Yeah, and... I think maybe we should just jump to another song or something. <laughs> Too much filching going on in this one. NC-17, was, bitches. Yeah, I was telling him, um, you guys got to do Ecuador at the show, man. The Ecuadorian dreams is... That's, oh, shit. We have a request, Joe. Yeah, you guys got to do it, man. If you people could sing it, whether dude, it's you or Seth, dude, I'll play it. I wanted to hear that. I will step up to the plate. You don't even have to sing it right. At least get on bass. Ecuador. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that, and... Um, Return of the Bitch. Ooh, that's with, definitely not happening. With all the audio sampling from... <laughs> Some, someday, <laughs> someday, but we're not quite ready for that at this Come point. Come on, Joe. I know you could fucking splice that shit in between notes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so That song's tight. Do you have a thing to play of that for... Uh, we're not hearing any biff on this. Oh, this is all about you guys, oh, dude. Okay. We have other podcasts for us. All right. We're focused on our, our guests tonight. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Which re which at? actually reminds me, I wanted to ask you guys, tell us about the name of the band. Because <laughs> uh, you want is, the real story or yeah. the fake story? Well, how about a little both, or you could okay. you start ooing. There's them a with fake it. story. Yeah, we kind of came up with a fake story for it. You know, it's just um, you know how some bands will have their name and then they'll try to sell mm -hmm. you with some kind of weird it twist. You know, yeah, it the, means something. Yeah, it means this. You know. Um, <laughs> I guess the fake story is we're, you know, you hear a lot of bands in the Denver scene. They're kind of similar. You know, it's either country or death metal. And 
I don't know, it's kind of predictable. So we're the, I don't know, kind of a spin on the name Electric Ordinary. You know, you hear it and you're just like, oh, you know, it might sound like everybody else. But then when you show up and you actually hear us, you hear otherwise. I think I think the, the goal with EO, Electric Ordinary, sorry, is to go by EO. Keep up with the inequities. You know, yeah. like, I think that's, that sounds cool. <laughs> As the, uh, As the newest guy in the band, yeah, I like EO. Yeah, you kind of got this weird smirk when we told you the name. You're like, I like EO. Electric Ordinary sounds dumb. I like EO. Yeah. It doesn't sound dumb. Anyway, what's the real reason? The real, the real <laughs> story. People change this. Just it. The real story is we got the name from refrigerator magnets. You know, those little, like, single word phrases that you can piece together on yeah, the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. We used to be called False Start before we met Drew, and um, we had somebody who had those magnets on the fridge, and they just randomly threw in Electric Ordinary together, and we're like, hey, that sounds cool, you know, we'll call the album that. We're like, well, we're False Start, and our CD is Electric Ordinary, and trying kind of going on the fake story of that, you know, but um, we found out that there were like 13 other False Starts, and we didn't want to like get sued by yeah. anybody, so... Instead of coming up with a brand new name, we just kind of flipped it. I'm like, well, let's call our CD False Start <laughs> since, you know, we thought that was going to be our name, mm-hmm. but then we got screwed out of it. Man, I tell yeah, you, so. it's it's rough out there. It, it There's, I have, I think I've yet to be in a band where I didn't later realize that there was a couple other bands with the same name. Even Biff, there's even a couple Biffs out there. Really? Yeah, there's... Yeah. They're the only thing close to us. This is what, like, all the old people that I talk to about our band, like, get when I say our name. Old old as in, like, parent, our parents. Yeah, like, 40, 40. 45, 50, <laughs> yeah. 65. Whoa, whoa. Baby boomer. Generation. Yeah, Baby all the, boomer. All the veterans Vincent. that we are observing today. Uh-huh. The <laughs> post-Veterans Day. Anyway, <laughs> um, they say, they, they're like, oh, yeah, like, Electric Light Orchestra. And, ah. like... What? Yeah, <laughs> or I was like, yeah, exactly not like that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, too, until I, somebody had said that, I never had heard of Electric Light Orchestra, but mm. we're not that. No, well. not even close. Um, it's funny, because after we came up with the name, like we heard all kinds of things that were kind of like the name, just because it was electric. You know, it's yeah. electric like... Uh, on the Pick of Destiny, the Tenacious D movie, and he's like, you guys sound like Electric Dynamite, you know? And we're just like, oh, shit, we should have called ourselves Electric Dynamite. Because then we never had, like, free oh, press shit. in the movie, like, all right day there, long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, Les Claypool has that hippie shit that he's doing, Electric Apricot, whatever. Yeah. Primus. Primus all the way. No more hippie stuff. I must say I'm, I'm quite a fan of the... Uh, the Pink Floyd covers, but other than that, I'm with you. I'm a Primus. So, one more song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Go with one more. I guess. The next. Uh, the next. What's the next one, Drew. It's War Street, and it's one of my personal favorites to play live. Oh, there's another I, spill. I catch. Oh shit! Uh, God damn it! I Biff catch. Just it up in here. Fucking Joe and Biff. I both spilt our water. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Dude. No, it's all right. As long as it's away from the computer. It doesn't matter. Just... And why is it your personal favorite? And it's my personal favorite because at the shows, I catch some major air. Yeah, dude. <laughs> during that song. We played this uh, this emo battle, basically, and uh, we were like the oldest guys there, and Drew was seriously catching some air, jumping during this song. He's, dude. He, you fuck it up, dude. You... Get up, good, I get man. up for a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got well, some bad ups. Here it is. War Street. Good morning. 
Are like, hello. Drew's hello. trying to get some air on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how'd you yeah, like that? Yeah. How'd you like that uh, vocal there when it got all heavy? Dude, that was my favorite part. That was, like, nice. that was what? That was awesome. Do you know what kind of was distortion that, that was? It sounded was sweet. It like a Fox effect um, or something. I don't know. I think he had it like it was called a AM FM ah, or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I it was really it was really thick and and mid range here. <laughs> no, only bass is frothy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no that, frothy vocals coming out of the suit. No, <laughs> no, that, that's my favorite part of that song. That heavy shit. The da, 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 yeah, ding. yeah, it was like dude, one of the that, first heavy. I remember. Yeah, I remember the first time you guys played that. I think it was at Cricket when you guys played with Apsis. Maybe we played it. But, <laughs> no, <laughs> well, it was it was definitely like Maybe. the first time you guys had. Um, the second guitarist, Adam. Well, that was playing. that was, was probably our show with you, you Biff at Wyatt's, Wyatt's in March. That was our first show as the band oh. with the four of us. And I know I think we played that one then because that was one of the songs we all like learned really fast. Yeah. Well, Adam and I being all of us that learned it because you guys already knew it. Right. No, we had to relearn the song for you guys. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, let's play this one. Yeah. <laughs> and then we kind of had to follow along and stuff. Yeah, teaching you guys the songs was definitely good practice for Neil and I. Because, uh, well, dude, we had kind of like paused for a little while before we played that show, um, mm-hmm. the, the Apsis show with you guys at that birthday party even. You know, we hadn't played any shows for a while, and the only reason we did that one was because um, it was a birthday show. And, you know, Neil went around looking on MySpace and found you guys and... Like, hey, this band kind of has the same kind of style as us, you know? Let's give them a call and see what we can work out. Yeah, that was awesome. It was uh, definitely a good meeting. Cause now yeah. we got Drew B. Drew here on the bass, Mr. <laughs> Basie McBass face. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, bitches. <laughs> yeah, now that we've, like, learned all your old stuff, like, we've been hitting heavy, good, new, creative stuff. Yeah, we, we got what is it like three or four four new songs in the works right now you know we're yeah i was gonna ask you guys like where what is the future looking like are you it's, you, you're happy I, with the three piece and yeah gonna keep going like good. that we're, and like i said the writing really like comes out more when it's just the three of us mm-hmm. yeah one of the songs that we usually end our set with was a gem that we wrote together with you know 
the, just the three of us. The gem. Like, yeah, we we jammed. Gem. <laughs> Sorry, it was a good gem. It was a good ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say gem or jam? Both. <laughs> it was a gem jam. It was a gem. A gem no, gem. I don't mean to sound lame like that, but it was it was cool. Like we were just it was after that fucking blizzard we had, and we were all like. We just got to kneel somehow with the four feet of ice that was in the streets, yeah, you know? Horrible. And we got there and, like, we just started jamming. And Eric had this high, like, dee dee that I don't even know. We don't have a... No, we don't well, have a recording of it. Like, a decent quality. The anything. one that's on this thing, but... Oh, you have one? It's all... Yeah, the whole album's on that CD. But, like, Eric just started playing that. And I threw some, like, simple bass lines down. The way I describe it is, like... It sounded like it reminded me a lot of that ISIS band, and at the time, and still, I'm like heavily influenced by them. They're great. Yeah, I've been listening to more and more of them lately. And uh, I don't know. That's I. I wanted to say our newer stuff we've been jamming since then is a lot more progressive, way out there. What's in your CD player right now? Uh, I have an iPod, so I have like everything. Like... If you had a. CD <laughs> player, what would have what been? Would it, what be? is this? Um, it would probably well today. It's actually Anima from Tool. Nice. I haven't Classic. listened to that album in like forever, so yeah. I had to give that one a whirl. True. Um, probably that um, shit. It's called Panopticon by ISIS, mm. and changing up between that and uh, their newest one, In the Absence of Truth. And what would you say is in Neil's CD player right now? Probably some Therion or... Uh... No. EO, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. driving back He's from the out fucking the new studio mix. right He's, now. Uh, <laughs> rushing his ass down here to get to the end of this interview. Which hopefully. he probably won't Which make. Which he won't, yeah. He hasn't called me yet. No. Right. Um, probably Therion or... Um, he listens to a lot of like random stuff. Like You can never really tell. He's got a lot of influences. So. Yeah. Um, would you would you say that Therion maybe? Yeah, or KMFDM. Yeah, or, or some Skinny sh- Puppy or, or something like that, you know. So that gives us a kind of a wide scope of EO influences. Yeah. See, I got a lot of Helmet, uh, Glassjaw, Primus. Helmet is a big influence on Biff for sure. Nice. Definitely. And we used to play... Unsung. Unsung. We're thinking of bringing it back. You should. Definitely. Eric. Eric. Why on Thursday have it ready? <laughs> yeah, we only got one practice from now until then. Practice we'll, Thursday before. Yeah, that's practice what we're gonna, we'll see. and Ecuador, and then you guys are set. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. And I, I want to hear that... Um, return of the Bitch. No, not that one. Uh, the Point of No Return. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that shit. I want to hear <laughs> Joe <laughs> playing <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys do I can't song, remember man. the last time we played that. I'll definitely jump over. <laughs> oh, we never played it. I don't think we've never played it. Like, yeah, uh, never, never played it. Well, well, okay. <laughs> we did play it. We were, what was that, like once that we practiced it with yeah, you because we were going to play it at a show. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, you used to jam with these guys, huh? Weren't you a pseudo member for No. Yeah. I was. Drew I is always with... an honorary member. <laughs> oh. eat, eat that shit, Seth. <laughs> now I'm on the podcast, bitch. I'm just kidding, buddy. Have fun at the Nuggets. Go yeah, hopefully Nolo. Seth is having a good time now. Hopefully they're winning. That game last night, or their, their last game, holy shit. They gave up like 46 points in the first quarter and then came back and won the game. Nice. After a shitty first half like that, they shouldn't have won that game, but they did. That's Colorado team style, dude. Like, whenever they Broncos go, play yeah. the Raiders, they'll just steal it by one point at the very end. And <laughs> yeah. Then there's riots in California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to get all sports on you guys. Yeah, um, yeah we got we to gotta be wrapping this up here. Um, anything you'd like to add, Joe? He's no. shaking his head. This is audio, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I said no after I was done shaking my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Throw some cool. viola bass on our podcast. <laughs> it's out of tune. Let's hear some fretless going. It's not even, it's not even in tune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Nice, man. I think you need to go fretless. Or... I need to borrow that bass for Thursday's <laughs> show. Yeah. 
be dude, this show, fun. This show's turning out to be kick ass, man. We got yeah, it's gonna be good and, times. Uh, <laughs> <viola bases. laughs> <Front loose bases. laughs> well, just to remind everybody, it's this Thursday, November fifteenth. Uh, uh, show's starting at like nine. Red Star Revolt, another local band's gonna be opening up. I actually checked them out on MySpace. Pretty good stuff. Um, we befriended them as well. Nice. <laughs> uh, you know, some ties are forever. We'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Neither of us have um, listened to them, admittedly. But so yeah, you know, check them out. Biff's playing at probably around ten thirty-ish, or maybe earlier. Ten twenty-seven. Yeah, you guys are having a CD release, right? Yeah, this is our CD release. Uh, Re Biff is going to be available. Yes, I've waited so long for this. Yeah, the wait will be worth it, buddy. Is this the one with the turd on the cover? That I saw in MySpace. Oh, no, 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 no. no. That's, 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 that's an old one. Okay. But there are a few poop. songs from that album that were... Because this is all redone. Poo. Oh, cool. Poo. Old tracks. Poo. Oh, so this Poo. is an old Biff. Yeah, redone nice. in uh, higher quality. Sweet. In some cases. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys do anything from that ICBD album? ICBD yes, is, I is, is ICBDs what we did. Yeah. I, did you redo... That ill comprehension, not that that was... No, nah, dude, that, that one was so perfect on there. And What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand! You don't understand! <laughs> you guys have like 50 albums, don't you? Like 10 million songs that you've uh, written over the we years? We have quite a list. We have yeah. quite a few albums, yes. You guys going to put out another Christmas album? <laughs> like that? I don't think we could top it. I, I think we might... <laughs> We used Wait, to just, our like, ideas. just do re biffment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll uh we'll workshop that. I still get people like come up to me, dude. That Biffus album, that shit's great. I'm like I don't even know who you are. Thanks. That's what we gotta dude. do, man. A Christmas album. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'd be as good as Biff Mess. We'll but... have to do uh, that song where the grandma's making out with Santa. Yeah, that shit was. And the reindeer <laughs> yeah. run over, or no, the John Deere ran grandma over Oh, or that's right, yeah. Something stupid like that. Didn't some country guy come up with that song? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, oh. at any rate, <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see, you guys got MySpace. Yeah. It's just MySpace.com backslash le- electrocoronary or electrocoronary.com, which... Redirects you redirects to the MySpace. You to the MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> the page is currently under construction. Yeah, right. I don't think it's coming for back. For three months. But, but. So uh, <laughs> anyone who uh, wants to hear more or find out more about the band, check them out there and come to the show. It's uh, three bucks to get in, I believe. Three, three to five. five. Is, yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> Depending on how sexy you look at the door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <and> if you, <laughs> yeah. Cricket on the Hill, 13th and Downing, Denver, Colorado. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for coming down. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Good to see all those people coming from out of state. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was going to say. For the yeah, people case, holding it down out yeah. in Wisconsin, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening tonight, and we'll see you on Thursday in That's Denver. That's the of the internet, man. Yeah. It's in Denver, <laughs> Colorado. Thanks for having us, Dave. Yep. Yeah, man, it's a lot of fun. Glad you guys made it down. Yeah, Neil sends his love. As does, <laughs> as does uh, Seth. Yeah, I'm sure he does. <laughs> Electric who? <laughs> <laughs> well, if what? <laughs> Until Ooh, you guys put out that Christmas album a few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I'm Seth's, in that band. <laughs> Seth's the guy telling Joe, man, that Biff, man, the Biff miss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you Thursday. Sweet, man. I'm Dave. I'm Joe. And we're two thirds of Biff. I'm Drew. Enjoy the and fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Drew, Basin McBase Face, and I'm Eric. <laughs> Didn't you come up with a name with me? Didn't you have a name for me? I don't know. It's yeah. like Rockasaurus Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Nice guys. And Adam was the chuggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> Neil was the robot. Yeah. Cool. Hawkman. All right, guys. Cool. Thanks, dude. This is Biff signing off. Thanks for listening.